Recently my super simple coffee ice cream went viral worldwide so I thought now is a good time to bring a sequel. I'm going to show you how to make a very simple three ingredient ice cream. There's no ice cream machine required, no difficult recipe, no churning. It's just mix it together and freeze it. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's this beautiful vanilla bean ice cream on the One Pot Chef. First things first, I've got a vanilla pod here and what I've done is I've cut it in half and just split it down the middle so I can take the back of a knife and just scrape all those beautiful vanilla beans out of the inside like so. Look at that, beautiful, that's concentrated natural vanilla flavour. We'll just be using the little vanilla beans today for the recipe so we don't need the actual pods but don't throw them away, put them into a jar, fill it up with sugar and give it a shake every couple of days or so and you'll end up with some lovely vanilla flavoured sugar. To make our ice cream into a big mixing bowl I've got 600 mils of heavy whipping cream, minimum 35% milk fat would be perfect. To that I'm adding in a 400 gram can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, if you would prefer your ice cream to be slightly less sweet, you can use half a can if you prefer. I'm also going to add in the vanilla beans. And if you can't get vanilla pods where you live, don't panic, just use vanilla extract or vanilla essence. One to two teaspoons will be fine. Now all we need to do is, using an electric hand mixer, we're just going to beat this up for about three to four minutes or until the mixture forms soft peaks. And there we have it. Look at that beautiful soft peaks. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a little black flex all through it. That's those vanilla beans. Absolutely beautiful. Now all you need to do is just gently spoon this beautiful thick cream mixture into a freezer safe container. And do do this gently because we've just spent a lot of time whipping that air into the cream and we don't want to knock it all out by being too rough with it. Be rough with it later when it's frozen. <laughs> I'm just covering the surface with some plastic kitchen wrap. Now I'm doing this because I don't want too many ice crystals to form on this. You won't get much because there's not much water content in either the cream or the sweetened condensed milk, but I want this just to be enough to cover the surface so we don't end up with a frosty top. And then all we need to do is pop this into the freezer, minimum five or six hours, preferably overnight, or until the ice cream is set. Cut to a few hours later and our ice cream has set so we can just carefully remove the plastic wrap and we can start scooping. Oh look at that, perfect. And here we have our completed vanilla bean ice cream. How simple was that to make? Stick around to the end of the video and I'll be telling you how you can use this basic recipe to make pretty much any flavour ice cream you like. Look at how gorgeous and creamy that is. I cannot wait to dive in and have a taste. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is so creamy. That beautiful vanilla beans all through it. That is the most vanilla ice cream I've ever eaten. That is glorious. Stick around to the end of the video because I will be showing you a little tip on how to make this into pretty much any flavour you like. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at OnePotChefShow.com and until next time, see you later. This recipe is very easily adapted to make any flavour you could pretty much imagine. You want to make this into chocolate, then simply replace the vanilla with about a quarter of a cup of sifted unsweetened cocoa powder and then just mix that in before beating up the mixture. If you wanted to do something fruity, maybe something like strawberries or mango, then you just puree the fruit and then add it to taste to the mixture before whipping. It's a great combination of flavours that you can come up with and you could do all sorts of different things. So come up with your own combination and give it a go because trust me, this is the best ice cream recipe you will ever, ever make.